Good morning, it's John. Today is August 18th, 2021, and this is Katadafin. Remember, not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. Uh, yesterday was interesting. Market uh, took a big plunge and uh, was uh, actually co-trading yesterday with some friends of mine. And we were having a uh, kind of a side bet whether the market would come all the way back or go down to a thousand points down or whatever. And um, of course, the market uh, made a nice, nice run at the end, but didn't get quite back. But uh, this morning, it looks like uh, it's going to be flat to maybe a little up. The uh, market's processing the uh, the decline in housing starts, which probably is due to the fact that. Uh, you know, as we we were talking to our builders about um, the, the people who did our res renovation, we can't get supplies, can't get paint, can't get can't get uh, lumber, and can't get help. So uh, yeah, I, I think uh, houses are going to go down, which I think will probably exacerbate the fact that there aren't enough houses for people who want them. So I think everybody has to process that. I don't really know what it means, but uh, seems like. Um, there is more to come on the housing front, although what uh, initially sent the market down yesterday was uh, Home Depot kind of had lackluster stuff, but I will add lackluster uh, results and I kind of got it down for the future. I wonder if that doesn't have to do with the fact of probably being out of stock. To be honest, I haven't been in a Home Depot or a Lowe's in the past three or four months, so don't know. Anyway, um, thought it was interesting though after the market, and this was this was something that I find um, always interesting, that uh, Kramer and some other people were were kind of talking people off the ledge. Well, markets go down too, and I'm like, what? Have we just gotten used to this idea, kind of the Dave Portnoy idea that uh, stones only go up? You know, uh, it seems that way. But uh, yeah, things go down and. Um, I personally like days like yesterday and even Monday because it gives me a chance to um, just buy back lots of open positions. So I have lots of open positions and that uh, had had uh, moved to uh, uh, nice, uh, you know, had had gained profitability yesterday, and so I closed them. And then that leaves me sitting on top of a lot of positions. Now I can resell as the market moves, and or. I could just sit there and wait for for better better positions, but um, you know, focus on. I, I'm a trader, so I focus on the day to day, not the um, long term. That's not my job, and that's quite fine. Um, you know, it is trading. It is not uh, investing. It is two different things. So, and in trading, markets go down. Uh, crypto is down. Uh, uh, 10, 5, 10, 15 percent, depending on what you were in yesterday. So, I mean, you're going to have these swings. They are natural. And, um, you know, especially I think as the people try to figure out what's going to happen with the economy as we pretty much live with COVID, um, you, you know, but that begins to affect, you know, Pe people make decisions based on those environments. And one of the things we've seen is, is, um, uh, you know, some cancellations in airlines and some other stuff, but but that then that has other effects because I start thinking, oh, well, maybe airline tickets are going to be cheaper, so we'll actually add another trip or two. So this is all not one kind of point in time. It, it is a macro uh, uh, litany of events that happen, so that's what makes this interesting. Anyway, my thoughts for the day. Hope you have a great day, and I wish you lots of success. Peace out.